Hello and welcome to Sue Finley Designs. Today we're upcycling an IKEA lamp and we're going to create a new resin lampshade for the lamp. So this so what I've done is I've taken the lampshade off and I'm now measuring it so that I can get accurate measurements on where the crease is, where the it it joins the hole, etc. etc. So I'm just measuring that now before creating the outline which I've then covered with cellophane. Now I used um, a, a jar of Lares pigment just because that was the right size for the hole just to make sure that I had a hole in the center. With hindsight I should have wrapped this in plastic because I didn't know my resin was going to actually stick to the plastic of the container because um, I don't normally have that issue with plastic but obviously this type of plastic the resin did actually stick to so that's something to think about if you're doing something similar so now what I've done here is I've just mixed up some clear resin and mixed it with the crushed glass now I wanted to create a barrier before pouring the resin in the centre but I'd actually started pouring the resin before I'd remembered so that's why I'd started pouring stopped and then moved on to putting the crushed glass and now adding the clear resin in the centre. So as well as using clear resin in the centre I've also mixed up a small batch with some gold spray paint in it and also some silver spray paint. I wanted this still to be quite translucent through the resin but add a touch of colour because the lampshades I currently have in my living room are gold and silver so that's why I've picked these particular colours to, to match those lamps plus I've got my, if you've seen one of my previous videos you'll see that I've got a crushed glass mirror on my wall so this matches that as well so this all ties in with my decor at the moment. So to help blend these colours ever so slightly I'm using a touch of mineral turpentine to help move the resin and this will just break this up slightly and move it round and I'm not worried too much about the, the pattern or anything because I just wanted to add a touch of colour because now what I'm doing is I'm adding more crushed glass to the main body of the lampshade being mindful not to put any near the centre because that's going to be where it's attached to the lamp so I didn't want any stones there so I'm just adding that and then using a stick to pull the the mound of stones that I had created originally as a barrier around the edge just to flatten that out so that it's not too lumpy and chunky because I want it to be quite a flat piece. So this has been left to cure for about three and a half hours, four hours. So now I came in and I tested it. The resin is no longer sticky that I can touch it um, but it's still flexible enough for me to handle and manipulate onto the glass shade, plastic shade even. And then it's left to, to cure overnight. So it's the next day now and it's time now to remove this. This is when I discovered that the um, Lares jar of pigment was actually stuck fast to the resin itself so it, as you can see it won't come off so I'm going to use a touch of heat and my knife to cut this out so with hindsight in the future I will wrap this in plastic beforehand or use something else that I know that doesn't stick to the resin uh, to create the hole in the centre so with a little bit of playing around and cutting and what have you this does eventually come off thankfully <laughs> so when you're heating the resin at this stage the resin does soften quite a lot and it does make it easier to cut and trim it out so what you need to do is after you've done this is just leave it to cool down a little bit again before you place it into the shade because it then retakes its shape again 
So this is the, the standard lamp from IKEA and as you can see it's quite easy components. You just unscrew the centre and that's where the shade was normally sitting. Screw that back in. Nice and tight. And then add the, the bulb. Note I'm using an LED bulb here. I left this to on for quite a few hours and the resin didn't get warm. I would, wouldn't recommend using a regular bulb because they can get quite hot. So, so the LED bulbs work quite well in preventing your resin from getting too hot. As always, if you like this video and would like to see more resin ideas, then please subscribe to my channel or better still go and browse my other videos. I have plenty of ideas to keep you inspired. You will also find a list of all the ingredients and products used in the description below along with some handy links to my other channels and Instagram, Facebook etc etc. So until next time, bye for now.